Hi everyone. I'd like to look at something today which I've been wondering about for a long time and which I recently through a blog that I've put a link in uh, to my blog. How to render a panoramic realistic scene around your Lumion project. It's the typical sort of background that you would get from a drone footage, a 360 drone footage. So what I've got open on the screen over here is a program called Blender and essentially what you need to do is to model a UV sphere to set the orientation and the material and then to export it into a sphere that can you can put into Lumion. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. If you, there's a much longer explanation within the link to the other blog. But I'd just like to show you that it's possible and it's not too difficult either. So the first thing to do is to model a UV sphere. On the creation of the UV sphere you'll be able to set the number of facets in the U and the V direction. A hundred does seem to work quite well. I tried 500 and even with this beast of a machine that didn't work very well. You can scale the sphere afterwards, but I'm just going to input the radius over here immediately to a hundred or so. And there is a UV mesh sphere. The next thing to do is to recognize that we have an inside and an outside of the sphere. And you can see that if you switch on the face orientation, currently it's blue we need to switch that to red which means that the inside of the sphere is now on the outside and that's important because we'll be rendering inside the sphere in Lumion. You have to be in an edit mode for that and Alt and N will allow you to flip the normal. You'll see how the sphere now turns red. The last thing to do is to create a material with the sphere selected, we'll find the materials over here and create a new material. We can rename this material. I'm just going to call that my Drone 360. And moving over onto the uh, shading image. I can see that they've got this material definition. The base color is the item of image. We want to hook that up to an actual image which I have put over here. It looks like this. It's a 360 degree image and I just want to hook that up to the base color like that. You'll see the preview up here. And going back to the layout and switching on the material preview and switching off the face orientation there I can now see that sphere with the image applied so it's a relatively quick process once you know how and the size is not greatly important because we can always scale that within Lumion. Next we can export this. I'll save. I'm going to save that as a Drone 360. And then I'm going to export that to a Collada file. Drone 360 export Collada. And the last thing to do is now to bring that into a Lumion file. And you'll see over here we've already tested that. I've got this house model in here. And it's a really simple process. Excuse me. We'll just bring that in. Import that from the DAE 
drone 60 DAE. And we can place that somewhere over here. And perhaps just skate it down a bit. And move it up a bit. So the height at which you take this drone image is quite important. Let's go and see the result. For inside the, uh, the house. There we can see this nice background that we can see the outside of the world, our mountain retreat. Like I said, the height is quite important. In this one, it's about the height of the second floor that this drone picture was taken at. But depending on where you want the viewpoint to be, you can set your drone to take that image or take the images with your cell phone and stitch them together. And lastly, just note with the material that you can assign a standard material to it. And you can also just set some of the properties, like take the glass off and the reflectivity, the relief. Uh, just make it appear a little bit better. Of course, you could also change the transparency. If you want some of the shadows to shine through, maybe make it a little bit transparent. But for our intents, this will work really well. And we can see we're getting a good result on some realistic background for our house. So this can really in increase the realism of the background, especially in movies where you would like to see the actual footage in the background and that will help you to do that. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do need assistance, please contact us here at Micrographics so we may be of assistance. Thank you and enjoy Lumion.